Hey guys, Marshmallow Trump here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a voiceover for some Respawnables Heroes gameplay. So I left on the names at the beginning, so if it was you, you can see yourself, or just to basically promote people, because it was a really good team I was with, and here is some really good Helena gameplay. So, uh, if you don't know, this is the starting character, very defensive, you have the deployable shield and the uh, fist charge. Basically with like the charge punch, uh, this often stuns the enemy and is a high damage output, whereas the shield can take a lot of heavy fire and protect you whilst you get the best and get to keep the best vantage points. So me and the other player playing as the same character, we weren't even playing together or on voice chat, but we both went round each side of the gate making sure there was no campers waiting for us. We then came around and got hit by a uh, massive area of effect, but that wasn't too bad, it only took out one person. It did slow us down, but we were able to set up two shields. One was a smaller shield, which I didn't mean to do, but we were able to take out one of their high damage output characters. I then angled myself so I can only be seen and only see one of the people who were up top, damaging them enough to make them feel as if they have to jump off and that's when I could kill them. Then here is a mirror match of heroes. Uh, luckily for me, uh, this person was really good with throwing health packs down for me, so thank you for playing that character and being so good. Uh, it was kind of a weird match because if I uh, went through my shield and became exposed, then it would just be easy pickings and I would die. So we just kind of waited and just kind of shot the shield whilst we waited for someone to mess up. Uh, that didn't really happen, and we realised that there wasn't much time for us to actually get the objective stuff. So, uh, me and this other person uh, decided to uh, push through. Basically, they did it, I thought, yeah, we better. So, uh, I pushed through, and I managed to get around the back. There is a little bit of a glitch here, but oh well. There you go. <laughs> and I absolutely bamboozle this player right here. I keep shooting them. There's no point in me moving, because they've not seen me. They put a shield down, they charge, and they try putting down a second shield. I literally just walk around, they don't know where I am. They turn around and the shield comes out too late, so that was a free, easy kill. Now, with the knowledge- that's the glitch again. With the knowledge that I've not been seen, I do go and attack the point. Hoping, hoping to get some nice capture percentage, but instantly the person I just killed does come out of spawn. Lucky enough for me though, I am able to basically hit them with the punch and eliminate them, although I do have this one player on my back which is kind of hard to get rid of. With the help of my ultimate giving me extra protection and big shield, I'm able to get them to go away and try and heal. I was going to go follow them, but this person was healing me and this high damage output alpha was uh, being quite annoying, so I had to get rid of them. So the person, the professor, Shannon, I think it is, who uh, went to heal came back out and Lucky enough for us, we were able to eliminate her before she could just do the same. Now the alpha comes back, and I wasn't uh, actually aware of how little health I had, and it was a good play on them to keep on me. But we got the double stun punch, and then here is, I think it's around here, yeah I die. We managed to get the Professor Shannon again, almost. But I have to, uh, I decide to change target because I'd rather keep a teammate alive then get the kill because obviously when we're trying to hold a point keeping the pressure on is important obviously there I was left alone I don't actually have the game knowledge on alpha to know how to get out of a situation where they're that close I'm not sure if it's even really possible with such a tanky slow character now as soon as you get out of the spawn never dawdle always use this speed and armor boost to go as far as you can and as close to the point as possible and um, yeah, it, j just run. Unless there's someone camping, then you need to eliminate them to allow safe passage for the rest of your team. So here we go, I just get a quick uh, long shot from up there and deploy a shield. <laughs> My teammate also deployed a shield. And yeah, that's the only problem with playing the same character and not being on voice chat. You don't know what each other would do. But, it's okay, it resulted in a victory as someone got the elimination behind me. I go 8 for 1 with 5 assists and some decent stuff. So thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.